Hello you beautiful audience. This is Reddit Stories and today's topic is. What do you want for Christmas? I bought my then boyfriend, now husband, a surefire headlamp for our first Christmas together. He loved it then, and loves it now 10 years later. Highly recommend the brand. I had that job. Every Sunday afternoon the dread would set in. Eventually grew to panic attacks. I ended up getting laid off and it was one of the best things to ever happen to me. Ultimately I took a job for a lot less money, but I am exponentially happier and have my life back. Totally worth it. I wish you the same. Edit since y'all wanna know, lawyer private practice. Loved the work, hated the people. Gained 30 pounds in two years. Multiple times I pulled double or triple all-nighters. Endless mind games and belittling. Stuck it out for four years, and lived on a shoestring budget. Paid off my student loans, saved a good emergency fund, and learned as much as I could about field and how to not be a total garbage human. Went into public sector and never looked back. Work just as hard, but I'm with people who value me and what I contribute. It's life altering. I know so many people who are miserable but feel trapped by their salaries. It isn't worth it. I don't ask for much, just give me my little Mario Kart and I will be as happy as a kid getting their first puppy haha. <laughs> no but really I was at the toy store the other day buying a new chess game and I happened to see the miniature Mario Kart, it's too cute man, I need that cuteness. I want to get an edible arrangement because they're so pretty and I'm sure they taste delicious. I've always wanted someone to get me one for like my birthday or Mother's Day or any day. But, I'm the mom and it's my job to do all of the gifting. So, I won't get one possibly for several years. When my kids finally ask me what I want, that's what I'm going to ask for. My mom is so good at gift giving always knows what secret thing everyone didn't even know they wanted. I am the worst gift giver I literally never have an idea and default to a book. My mom does not like books and is very picky so after years of trying I finally told my mom she has to tell me what she wants because the pressure of guessing was too much. Tell your kids you want an edible arrangement and you might get one sooner than years. Plus I certainly can't read minds and it sucks when you are expected to. I used to gig as a contracted delivery driver for edible arrangements just two days a year. If you guessed Mother's Day and Valentine's Day, you would be correct. I always wanted one as well but they are so expensive I would feel like a jerk asking for one and have the person think they want how much for some freaking fruit. Anyway, last year I just went ahead and bought all the chocolate and fruits and craft supplies and made my own edible arrangement for my boyfriend. He loved it and how thoughtful it was. Little did he know I was plotting to eat half of it all along. Ha! Huh? No one has empathy for people who want normal stuff like a Dutch oven, immersion blender, Bluetooth headphones, that's my Christmas list because my life is pretty great. I'm thankful as hell for that, but it makes me boring. A house of my own but I know that unrealistic. I would realistically like someone to go hiking with me and I would also like a Charmander stuffed animal and new snacks to try. Edit, ah thank you for the awards and kind words, internet strangers. I live in San Diego and I'm starting up my hiking again in January, weather permitting. My first hike is going to be Los Penasquitos because I love the quiet trails by the stream leading to the small waterfall. I also want to take pictures while I hike and there's usually more wildlife in the morning. If you are in the area and want to join me, DM me and I will let you know a week in advance the details. Also, as much as I appreciate it, you don't have to send me a Charmander stuffed animal lol. These past few years have been rough on everybody, so save your money. Or spend it locally on someone who looks like they need a pick me up. I had some over ear Sennheisers that I wore for about 8 hours per day for 3 years. Solid build and the sound quality was top notch. The foam pads over the ears eventually deteriorated. You can get replacements but I eventually upgraded to wireless power Beats Pro which I love. From one of my 6 year old students, who wrote a letter to Santa for class. 
I know you are not real Santa, but in case you are real, since many animals are endangered, I wish you could save them please. P.S. You real or not real Santa, I know you are just acting. Love, Jesse. My dad died a month ago. I want a cure for someone else's dad. Edit, thanks everyone for your wonderful comments, we all go through difficult times and I wish you and your family the best. For my husband, of almost 20 years together, to get me something thoughtful. Don't get me wrong, I typically enjoy the gift he buys but it's not meaningful to me, specifically. I go out of my way to buy him something that relates to his hobby or his favorite sports team. I get a stereotypical woman gift that could suit anyone or he'll buy a larger ticket item for the house and say it's for me. I know I'll get downvoted to hell and hate for being selfish or greedy but, I just want a damn personalized Christmas present. I related hard to this. I am not a huge gift giver or receiver, but the smallest amount of thought would be nice. The smallest indication that he knows anything about me, sigh. We were so poor the first five years of our marriage that we didn't do gifts. And I'm afraid he got too accustomed to it. We are now comfortable financially, so it isn't a money issue. Just a habit that needs changing. I gave him an Amazon wish list this year with explicit instructions that there had better me a wrapped present for me under that damn tree Christmas morning. Especially because I do all the shopping for the kids and both our parents, he can buy one present. Grumble grumble grumble. Nothing, my mom is broke and always tries to make everyone happy on Christmas even though we don't have the money, so I'm fine with nothing, and just her being a bit less stress free for a month. Even though I'm gonna get buried, I want better health and my back to quit hurting. Had two kidney stones too big to pass, had a procedure to remove one, now I have to wait and heal before they'll take the other. My back has hurt solid for almost a month. Edit, thanks for all the kindness. I'm working 5 to 6 days a week, taking Tylenol when needed. I can't do harder meds because of my job. I've taken three days off since it started, including the two days I've had procedures. I'm a white guy living in rural Japan, which has been kinda isolating for obvious reasons, but on top of that, Japanese culture doesn't really fuck with hugs, outside of like intimate relationships I assume. I'm used to hugging my brothers, my buddies, even more casual acquaintances, but I've been starved of any kind of physical touch for a while. You don't really realize how necessary that shit is until it's not available. This probably won't even hit the radar, but, I'd like to stop feeling alone. I'm married, I have two great kids, a good job. But no friends that I can be genuine with. I just want to feel like I matter to someone. Edit, I wasn't saying that I don't have a good relationship with my wife. But I'm a lot of broken in ways that she isn't equipped to help. We both know it, but I don't try to weigh her down with it. The reason I feel so alone this year is because my best friend of 15 years cut me out of his life completely this summer, a month after I was the best man at his wedding. The short of it is, I was buddies with a guy that he hated from college. I tried to make it work between the three of us, but they were oil and water. He told me that he couldn't respect me for being friendly with the other guy, who one month later moved to Thailand and has had no contact with me, and that essentially I wasn't worth his time. Best wishes were his last words to me. My traumas run deep. Physical, sexual, and emotional. He was the one person who knew everything about me, and didn't judge me. Up to that point. So this year just hits different. Well I would say ghost of Tsu's Hima to my family members. But what I want for Christmas is for it to snow and have a snowball fight with my family. Then after we're cold and tired we head home, put on a movie like Ratatouille, pull up some blankets and drink some hot chocolate or coffee. When people first start dating, they try lots of different things they wouldn't usually do. They go above and beyond to impress the other person, learn about what they like, get things or do things for the other person. Then as time goes on, we enter a routine of things that we're comfortable with. 
It makes sense because you need some sort of stability and routine in your life. But when the flame starts to get dim, repeat the process. Go out of your way to give them a massage, a little note or two saying something nice, dress up, or down, a bit different, make time to cuddle, etc. and see if you can get the same. Help with my tuition. My court case to be over and for him to go to prison. For my other case to be taken seriously by law enforcement and for them to actually do something about the man who dehumanized and violated me. Get reparations to help pay for therapy and doctor appointments. A new phone for my 16 year old. He has kept his in absolute. Perfect. Condition. Since 2018 because he knows I can't afford a new one. It's getting to that point where the physical integrity of the device isn't the problem anymore, though. Things have been getting better financially, and while it won't be in time for Christmas, really soon I'll be able to give that to him. I'm a lucky mom. Starter kit for silversmithing. 100% ever since I was a kiddo all I wanted to do was make jewelry. I stopped telling people that when I got tired of the laughs I heard in response. Two years I decided to pursue that dream and this last year I really started to give it my all and commit to the fact that that's my dream, that's how I want to make my living. I don't have the means to start metal smithying, which would push my craft into the quality level I want to be at. And would allow me to make art I'm actually truly proud of. Anything but kitchen stuff. Every single present my mom ever gives me is kitchen stuff. Like, I'm grateful and all and I genuinely enjoy cooking, but it's still a chore. Do I give out dust pans and an ironing board to her for Christmas? No. Because who the fuck gives you stuff like that? And half the time, I wouldn't use it. I would seriously rather just have a $10 gift card to a coffee shop. I'll get more use out of it than a cake plate that has yet to be used in the year I've had it. I want to get back to New Orleans. Was down there in March 2020 but got cut short for obvious reasons. Ended up needing surgery since then but that got postponed as it turned out I was also majorly hypertensive. Would just go at the drop of a hat but the surgery and the hypertension are now pre-existing conditions on my medical file and will majorly mess with travel insurance if I don't get them fixed before then. A decent salary. Have been working extra and they cut down our hours again so I've only worked like 60 hours in November and 20 hours so far in December. It's going to be a meager Christmas this year. Money to pay off my student and car debt 25k. Really though, a non-stressful couple days with our families. So much family drama on both sides. Or money to spend on the stuff I actually want rather than accumulating more stuff I don't need, want, or like. To have a stable job. I have an interview tomorrow morning at 9am with the city of Austin. But I'm nervous as fuck. Only worked in retail and fast food before. If I get it, it's gonna be an intense learning experience, but for the better. I'm done making 12 bucks an hour. If I get this I'll get a major raise of 21 an hour. Maybe find a local jewelry artist and buy her a one of a kind, locally handmade necklace, ring, or earrings. We like to be complimented on our clothing and jewelry, and a unique piece is going to get some attention. Super bonus points if you can find a way to make it sentimental, some kind of connection to your marriage, kids, grandkids, etc. If not jewelry, then maybe art. My husband gave me a line of cut print that was the view from our hotel room in the English countryside. It was by an artist local to that village and he found it on ETSE, so it wasn't crazy expensive. It was our best vacation ever and it's so nice to have a reminder of it. He's also given me a wool blanket made with Cotswold wool. Something that reminds her of a special time with you. Realistically, I want a pocket chip computer. Unrealistically I would like a really good VR gaming laptop. Way out of this world in my dreams. A fully decked out office slash VR gaming room with a top of the line VR PC, arcade, pinball machine. And all the cool shit that matches. 
My partner recently took very ill and is struggling to recover from multiple seizures and a virus that attacked his brain stem. My poor stepdaughter broke all three bones in her ankle and had to undergo surgery. She's on bed rest and is a real trooper. I want them to be happy and well again. That's all I want. If there was anything else, more than anything, I'd give anything to have a baby. I just took a secret week off, only my wife knew about it. I spent two days playing video games, then for the rest of the week I had lunch with different family and friends every day. Each thought it was serendipitous that my schedule was open on that particular day. I had time to recharge, reconnect with friends and family, and the weather was nice enough that I could even take the dogs for a walk. No lie, it was the best week I've had in years. Then to top it all off I got a huge retroactive pay correction deposited into my bank account. It's enough that my first year of my school in my professional upgrading is now paid for. 2021 going out on a high note. Four people to spend time with me without me having to take the initiative for once. Not sure if I'm just that peripheral to people, if they're all genuinely so busy that they don't have time to think about me by themselves, or if they all don't really like me but still hang out with me when I ask just because they don't want to be rude see. A guitar and amp. I really need to do something interesting. I used to play a lot for a long time. Unfortunately my alcoholism got in the way and I ended up losing my gear. Now I'm a year sober and literally do nothing except work and make sure my daughter and wife are happy. It's not a bad existence. Living vicariously through my daughter is rewarding. But I would like something of my own. Free stock of Google, Amazon, Starbucks, McDonald's, Microsoft, and IBM. 500 Bitcoin, 1000 Ethereum, 2000 gold rings, and a billion dollars. I also want two number nines, a number nine large, a number six with extra dip, a number seven, two number 45s, one with cheese, and a large soda. Things I won't get. Selfish things. Like a girlfriend. Like my crypto to sell. Like my PS5 to sell for more than what it's worth, to even have money to get my kids one things, sigh. For a better year for 2022. Someone to tell me I'm doing something right in my life. I'm going to college for something I don't want to do, working a deadened job with no form of growth, and not in the same field as my major, no real aspirations or goals, I just want to be content. It feels as if one of the biggest goals PPL talking about are having good attainable goals, and the concept of never being content. But that's literally all I want. Even my father makes offhand comments about people who are content. I recently had a shunt malfunction and really put a wrench in accepting a new job. I can't take it till I know I'm not gonna need more revisions. So I guess I want health, a better opportunity or a reason to stay at my current job. Mainly I Jason want health though. I'm about 3 months in so halfway through high infection risk time. For people to enjoy my food. For Christmas this year I'm making macarons and sushi to bring to my grandma's house which is where everyone in the extended family all gather whenever we have celebrations and parties. I'm really excited because during Thanksgiving I made these donut hole kebab things that have different flavors. Everyone who tried it, loved it, and now the fam has high expectations for what I will bring, especially my grandma lol. I'm kinda a nervous wreck and I have heavy self-doubt issues but I like to make food since it makes people happy so I hope it goes well. For people to stop shaming me for not celebrating holidays without what they see as a legitimate reason and then acting like it's sad that I don't get to celebrate Christmas so they invite me to celebrate their Christmas with them and then when I do they get mad that I didn't bring gifts. I sat on Santa's lap and asked him if I could have a fire-breathing dragon for Christmas. He told me to be realistic. So I said okay how about making my husband help me clean the house more? He asked me what color dragon. A teapot and a kindle. I sent my BF a link to the teapot I want, and I already ordered my kindle, laughing face. I really can't think of anything else I want or need, 
besides maybe an Amazon gift card for more Kindle books. At this point I've bought myself enough and I'm fine with what my parents have already bought for me, but the things I really want either can't be bought, or I don't have enough money for them. It'd be great to have my own house along with a great paying job that's related to what I actually want to do. The only thing I want for Christmas is for all of my family and loved ones and the same to anyone reading this to be healthy and well. Have recently had a health scare in the family and I just want anyone having any health issues in my family or yours to recover and come back strong and be healthy and happy. Merry Christmas everyone. Listen, I know people have a lot of conceptual items on their wish list, but man I just want a full day at a spa. I want someone to press on my back for an hour solid. Maybe some hot rocks. I just want to feel like jello for a day. Mostly cash from either a winning lottery ticket, not some ungodly amount, just enough funds to pay off my debt and to last for months, or from any source for that matter and possibly a beautiful kind maiden, a girlfriend obviously, and... Yeah that's pretty much it. I'm not here to yearn for less emotional turmoil, I want one of those lights with the toy jellyfish in it. And a meat thermometer. And some of that marzipan shaped like fruits. Hell yeah I hope I get some of those marzipan fruits. Ideally my husband and his, former, best friend to be back on speaking terms. For my brother-in-law to get his COVID vaccine and allow his daughters to get it too. Realistically more fun jewelry or neat stuff related to my hobbies, books, plants, legos, and yoga. I just want all around health for my pets and my life partner. I am in a very unconventional relationship but somehow it has worked. I need to seriously be told sometimes that I am a decent person because I sometimes really don't know. I'm childless at 39, I live with a man who has been in love with me since I was 20 and I have no clue if my living here makes him feel better or if he's okay because I need his help. He gives and gives and does everything he can to make sure I am safe, not sick, and sober. I sincerely hope to one day be as much help to him as he has been to me. Money to help my dog, 7-month puppy, get surgery to fix his double hip dysplasia. People that we rescued him from never disclosed any of his issues and we found out it's going to cost 10k that we don't have. Merry Christmas right? A house to give my girl and her kid. They deserve so much more than what they have. I'm giving all I got to build better for them but I don't think it will ever be in the cards. This marks the end of the video. If you liked my contact, consider subscribing as it helps me a lot, see you until next time.